every guy that comes to me and asks me for that thinks he's the only one. He is not. My name's Contessa Doll. I'm a professional dominatrix. I also dabbled in porn. I'm 43 and I'm pansexual. So I don't really have a preference for gender or identity. It's just who I fall in love with. What I feel is misunderstood about the BDSM industry is that we're not all mask wearing maniacs. We're not all psychopaths. I think it goes a lot deeper than what is portrayed in Hollywood. There's no such thing as normal. And some people will do prefer something different. Everyone's entitled to get off. I will treat your fantasy or fetish with a lot of respect because it has taken you a lot of courage to come to me. It's all about consent and it's all about boundaries that we do set. There is a safe word and aftercare is mandatory. It's not earned. I think that if people just gave it a chance and just realise it's not all about punishment and pain and abuse. There's so many different levels to BDSM. People get judged on it, especially men get judged on, they hide the fact that they're into BDSM. If a woman says, hey, I'm into BDSM, everyone's like, oh, yeah. A man does it, suddenly, oh, he's a pervert, he's a freak, oh, stay away from him, which I think is unfair. BDSM made me understand men on a much deeper level. And that's what I'm also grateful for, because you, without the um, layers of ego and everything, that's just peeled away, you get to see the real person. We can openly cry to each other. We can express our feelings. Men have to put on this act like they're made out of steel and not show their emotions. And they are quite strong to be able to hold it together during especially hard times, because we've all had those clients that have expressed their problems to us. And they don't get to do that very often. When I started in BDSM, when I was getting trained, I thought I was gonna be like, constant whipping and yeah, domination. I didn't realize it was gonna be 80% fingering or fisting men in the ass. Wow. I'm sorry guys, admit it, you're into it. <laughs> Every guy that comes to me and asks me for that thinks he's the only one, he is not. He is a, just 80% and I'm like, yeah, and? What else would you like? Oh, that's it. So during COVID, I was asked by a sex toy company called Plastic Emporium, um, if I want to make a sex toy out of any part of my body and they're expecting a flashlight or boobs or something on my mouth, I made my fist. And um, this is what we call the angry duck side. This is the part that you enter when you're fisting. And when you fist, this is the proper way. So I had the mold made of my fist and it actually sold out. <laughs> BDSM isn't something that one day you buy a honey at outfit and a whip and suddenly, hey, I'm a dom because I read Fifty Shades. You train for it. You train and you practice. And I was taught and mentored. For one year, I worked as a slave and before he was um, able to train me. So I knew what it was like to be on the receiving end. Safety can be after a few times they've come to see me, then they'd trust me to tie them up. I'm the same. I would only allow someone I really trust to tie me up. It may take them like having a conversation, realising that I'm actually very down to earth, I have a sense of humour. And I do ask them once in a while, are you okay? It's one thing men need to understand, there is nothing gay about having anything in your backside. Like I say, you can have a whole tree trunk in your ass and it's not going to turn you gay. Trust me, it's just not, gay is something you're born with. They're afraid to be judged by their wives. They're afraid to be judged by their friends. They're afraid that they're gonna end up going even harder. And I tell them that that's not gonna happen unless you want it bigger and heavier in there. The thing is, when guys do come for anal services, they bend over and I'm like, no, no, you face me. You lie on your back facing me you're watching me because if, especially if it's your first time, you're going to concentrate on the discomfort. And I wear three gloves, so it's more comfortable for them. Going in and I use a lot of vibration the first time for them, like we just take it at their pace. I don't force anything. I make sure it's just comfortable. You can kiss them, you can stimulate their body any other way. You can give them a blowjob or play with their clitoris. But the perfect position, yes, is on the back, gentlemen with your girlfriends the first time, 
is doing it missionary, kissing her, distracting her, lots of loop, and especially if you're going to be using your fingers, gloves, please. Please, start with gloves. I tried doing a normal nine to five job. I tried the housewife thing. I lost my sense of identity. I lost who I was. I love the industry. I'll stay in the industry as long as I can. I don't know what will happen in the future, but for now I'm happy, very happy in the industry.